Hi everyone, today we are going to do a reading where you should think of a person and I'm going to tell you what they are thinking about you and what they are feeling towards you. So we're going to see what's happening and this is for today. So, you know, whenever you're watching this um, and you have opened this reading and you want to absorb the messages, that's when the reading is for you rather than the reading that it's posted, if that makes sense. So we are definitely going to have a look, see what's coming through and... Shall we begin? I think we should begin. Okay, so actually <laughs> I say that, but I forgot to do my introduction. So um, before I start, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. So that is the only way to enter, which is in the description box of my videos. Um, and all the information is there on how you can do so and how it's announced. And then also on my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com, there are personal services, which I offer like private tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, and there's also intention items which thousands of people have seen results with. The review section for that is at the bottom of my website. These items are handmade, meditated with and sage for various areas of your life and there's items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, candles, teas, etc. Everything's down below so you can uh, check it out if you wanted to. Okay, so it's all linked and uh, let's have a look and see okay so your person so think of your person if you need a few seconds to do so or visualize them or you want to meditate on it just feel free to pause the video itself and then um, you can press play <laughs> okay so let's begin and see your person messages from their subconscious mind how are they thinking about you today Well, they are thinking about you, which is good news because the hermit came out and, you know, this is really an energy here of uh, thinking and not just thinking, overthinking. Okay, so they're overthinking about you today and we've got the word card, which shows that you are definitely on their mind as well as the two of cups and the knight of wands. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is really, really obvious from what I'm seeing here that they feel very, very attracted to you, but they're also attached to you. They can't stop thinking about you. So regardless of what your situation is with this person, okay, whether it's good or whether it's bad, because for some of you, you're watching this and the situation between the two of you may not be so great and you may think to yourself, they literally don't even think about you. And some of you um, are watching this and you've stumbled upon this reading and you actually have a pretty good connection with this person. Regardless, actually, of how your connection is with this person, they definitely keep a lot of things hidden to themselves in regards to just how much they value you, how much they respect you, and how they feel towards you. They keep it to themselves because, well, A, they overthink, and B, they, um, you know, they, they just like to keep it to themselves at this time. What more can I say? I think that um, in time they will express a lot of this to you. It's just that they want to feel ready enough to express this. And the word card here shows that they feel that you are extremely, extremely independent and you know who you are, that you are someone who is always going to try and protect those that you love. You will always go above and beyond. You're very balanced. You're very hardworking. You're very motivated. They find that very, very attractive that you are this level of motivated that you're passionate about the things that you do you don't like sit around and wait for people to um show you the way you you will want to do things your way and i think that that's something that's really attractive to them and that's something that they're starting to really visualize as wow I want to be with you, I, I want a future with you, I want to progress things with you, I want to talk to you because Hermit is Virgo. Virgo is Mercury energy. Mercury is the planet of communication, right? They want to talk to you. The Knight of Wands here shows they're so physically attracted to you. Think of the Knight as a very, very hot night, okay? <laughs> Not a hot night as in like night and day, okay? But I'm talking about night as in the night we have here in a desert that is so, so hot during the day. Imagine that, right? They are thirsty. You are like the water to them. Imagine how much they want you. That is the kind of energy that I'm seeing here where they're basically thirsty for you and they really feel that physical attraction and chemistry towards you where they don't want to be away from you. The Two of Cups here shows that they feel that the two of you are like a match made in heaven and they keep this to themselves because they also don't want to sound like they're being too much to you. Um, they don't want to sound creepy to you. They, they don't want to sound like they are 
<laughs> what's the word? What's the word? Yeah, you, you know, if, if you were to like say to them, we're a match made in heaven, you know, we should be together forever. You might think to yourself, oh, maybe that's a bit too much. You know, I'll just kind of like wait for things to progress a bit more before I say that. That's what they're actually thinking is that, wait a second, that's a bit too much to say right now. So they just keep it to themselves. But they really um, do feel that when they were growing up, this is the kind of person they would envision wanting to be with. And that's the messages that I see in their subconscious mind is, oh my goodness, like I feel something so strong here, but it's a bit too much to say right now. Better not say it because I don't want to scare the other person away. And I also don't want to, um, I want things to progress naturally. I want things to manifest naturally and, and not jump to conclusions. So, you know, it's another aspect of things as well. They remember a lot of the conversations that the two of you um, have had. They're also thinking about interesting topics and things like that, that they can pick up with you as well which I think is quite fascinating that they're actually like pre-thinking different things that they would want to ask you about. Some of these things could be your hobbies, things that you enjoy watching, things that you enjoy listening to, and also in regards to general knowledge, which I think is quite fascinating because you've got the high priestess. High priestess is all about intellect and knowledge. So um, for example, your profession, um, what you've majored in or what you have studied um, or even what your personal interests are they want to know more about it, they want to be quite knowledgeable in that regard um, and learn from you, so I think that's quite an interesting thing. They can also want your advice in regards to certain things that they're doing and I think that that's something they're also thinking about as well is that they want to ask you for some kind of advice on something that you have a lot more knowledge in than they do and I think that this is very much so to do with something again that you've learnt or studied or something you're very well aware of and that's something that's come into their mind as well today is um, something that they have come across and they're thinking to themselves, ah, oh, you would know the answer to that, so <laughs> and then there's that. Okay, and then we've got here temperance as well. So yeah, patience is a virtue, they're being very patient today and really thinking about things and not shutting it down, which I think is very interesting. They're thinking about how much they do feel towards you and how much they do care towards you. there you go match made in heaven high priestess and hierophant counterparts comment down below comment down below the affirmation of your reading especially if this resonates with you and you claim it is we are a match made in heaven um because a lot of you feel it on your side as well that the two of you are destined to be together the two of you are a match made in heaven that the two of you are you know, really uh, life partners and that you will come together in a very solid way and that things will progress and manifest in the way that you want it to. And I think that it is something that I am seeing here. I do genuinely believe that the two of you can progress things and move in a pretty solid way. It's just a matter of time. The other thing that I want to say here as well is that when you've got the High Priestess and the Hierophant, I mean, it's literally like magnets, you know, you've got the red and the blue and it just attracts. And I think what's quite interesting, quite fascinating here is that they really genuinely do believe that you are the right person for them because you're like their other half, you know, the yin to the yang and the sun to the moon and the 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 hot and the cold what well, more so because of the sort of desert and water energy you know the the fire and the water that like that's the kind of energy where they feel like you you bring them that that they are missing that of which they're missing like pieces of a puzzle um so ace of wands here shows that they're so physically attracted to you and today they are absolutely thinking about the fact that you are their other half you are their other person as in you are their person um and you've got the emperor here as well you've got a lot of fiery fiery energy and a lot of red red is a very strong um color today their root chakra is very very glowy okay so the root chakra is the first chakra believe it or not it's also known as the base chakra it's located at the bottom of the spine it's red so their first chakra is in absolute overdrive which is interesting because you've got the ace here as well and the fire energy and the root chakra is to do with stability and security and so they're thinking about all of these aspects in their life and thinking oh my god like i do actually want love and i do want happiness i do want fulfillment and who could I have that with? And then they think about you and they think about the fact that you have all of these qualities that they have actually been searching for and been thinking about for a while. So in their subconscious mind today, it's in overdrive towards you. They're feeling so warm and so connected to you, feeling so attracted to you, so intimately um, attracted to you in that sense. And it's obviously quite a, a strong magnetic attraction that we pick up on where they feel that you are literally their other half. 
Ooh, I have chills. Oh my god. That like, literally just went like all the way down me. Can you see those goosebumps? Probably not. My camera probably can't even pick it up, but there are like dots. There are dots. Um, some of you will be like, I mean like that's just your pores. No, they are definitely goosebumps, okay? Because I can see it also on this. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think my camera is like strong enough to pick up on it. Maybe not. Okay. <sighs> It's not cold in this room, that's the thing. Today it's not so cold. Ah, four of wands. Nice, 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 nice. Page of cups, okay. So yeah, today they keep their feelings hidden towards you today, all right? Nine of cups, you make them feel very comfortable, which is something that they really like. They like people that make them feel comfortable. They don't like people who make them feel uncomfortable or are patronizing, of which you are none of those things. So they feel very, very warm and very connected to you. And we have got also here the Seven of Cups, okay? Because they do daydream about you quite a lot and they do think about you a lot, like you are in excess of overdrive in their mind today. They're definitely gonna dream about you at night because you know, it's very common that when somebody is thinking about you during the day that you will think about them at night. So honestly, would not be surprised at all. They're definitely going to have a dream about you at night and it's something they're going to really remember because again, you've got the moon here, you've got the hermit as well, you've got the seven of cups. They are, whew, they're thinking about you for sure. Page of cups, they're pleasantly surprised with how these thoughts and feelings do make them feel. Four of wands, they feel like this is such a divine connection. It's so unexplainable how they feel towards you and they don't want to be apart from you. And slowly but surely, they are coming towards you in their mind. They also are thinking about a proposal or potentially coming to you and mentioning, you know, these feelings towards you. By the way, whether this is male or female, I just wanted to mention that. And we've also got here the fact that they do want to work on things with you. They feel that the two of you would get on really well. There's an energy here of teamwork, collaboration, the fact that the two of you get along so well and that there's just such a beautiful connection here. Amazing, right? Amazing. Okay, hold on a second. I have some message cards that are stuck. <laughs> ah, here we go. They literally got stuck. So these are the Serenity love messages. You make me smile. Oh yes, today, oh, you're making them smile. Um, I want you in my arms. So there's very romantic, physical kind of attraction energy that we did pick up on which was quite obvious actually <laughs> because I didn't mention that in the beginning. My happiness is to be near you. Yeah, you make them feel happy. You make them feel good. You make them feel smart. You make them feel smile. <laughs> you make them smile. They want you in their arms. They want you very close to you. They want to embrace you. They want to be with you. They feel so attracted to you. They want to touch you. I look into your eyes and see my soul mirrored back at me. Isn't this exactly what we did sp speak about? The fact that they feel that there is such a connection towards you that is unexplainable. They feel that you are their other half, that you are the yin to their yang, that you are the moon to the sun. You are what the um, hot is to the cold, you know, and what water is to fire. You are that energy of opposites attract. And that's what we see here as well. Remember I mentioned as well the red and the blue with the root chuck sorry, not the root chakra, the, <laughs> the red and the blue of the magnets, the magnets, right, where one attracts the other, um, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here, um, so yeah, 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 that's what we have there, so this is your reading, now of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website, Take care, everyone, and also just know that there is the, ah, oh, what do you call it? I completely forgot. Um, TikTok and Instagram, where I post short readings on there, that is all linked down below for your convenience, and I'll see you all very, very soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.